I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to see what's inside this book? <laughs> it's filled with animals that can camouflage. Camouflage means the animal can hide in the environment because of its skin or fur. Look, here's a picture of an owl on a tree branch. Can you see it? And this tiger is really hard to see in the high grass. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators. But sometimes it helps the predator so it can sneak up on other animals. Hey, maybe there's an animal hiding in our garden right now. Let's try to find it. How strange. Could this be an animal? Hey, it is an animal. I wonder what animal this is. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a baby Malayan taper, also known as an Asian taper. A Malayan taper? There are five different types of tapers, but Malayan tapers are the only tapers found in Asia. Why does the baby taper look so different from its mother? That's because the fur coat of the baby taper acts as camouflage and helps it blend in with the forest floor. It makes it hard for other animals to hunt them. When the Malayan taper gets older, its coat starts to fade, and it will look just like its parents. I see. What about the food they eat? Malayan tapers feed on leaves, fruits, and plants. They use their long snouts as hands, which they use to pick their food. That sounds handy. Malayan tapers live in rainforests in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. It must be lost without its mother. And its camouflage doesn't work very well in our garden. We should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby taper would love that. See you downstairs. Everyone, we're getting close. What was that? Did anyone hear that? Ah! Look how fast Baby Taper can run. Oh no! The tiger is trying to catch the Baby Taper. Be careful! Wait, they're coming back! Leo, use this! Good idea, Katie. Let's hope this works. Now! Now let's get the Jeep here. The tiger didn't appear yet, so I think it worked. But what about Hero? Don't worry about Hero. His nose can lead him here. Quickly, let's go in the Jeep. Oh, no. Something's coming. Hero! Hero! Good work, Hero. Now let's go. We did it. We found the baby taper's mother. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! Malay.
Malayan tapir in our garden. We learned that the Malayan tapir lives near riverbanks with lots of shade. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. <laughs> I'm a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this? This is a windsock for our garden. We can use it to see the speed and direction of the wind. See? Now I just need to find a good place to hang it. Why don't we look for it together? Let's go. I see a good spot up ahead. Let's try to hang it there. Huh? Hey, that's my windsock. I think it's some kind of cat. And look at those spots on its fur. <coughs> you know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little cat. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the cat? Hi, Leo. It seems that the cat you found is a clouded leopard. It's a cub, which means that it's still a baby. A clouded leopard cub? The clouded leopard gets its name from the special cloud-like spots on its fur. These spots serve as camouflage so they can hide in the trees. I see. We saw it can climb trees very well. Clouded leopards are arboreal animals, which means they mostly live in trees. That's why they have large paws and sharp claws that help them climb. I see. Their flexible short legs and long tail help them balance in the trees. Clouded leopards are one of the best tree climbers of all the big cats. That's amazing. What kind of food do they eat? Clouded leopards are carnivores. This means they eat other animals like birds, deer, and pigs. Clouded leopards live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. I think we should return the cub to its mother since it still needs to learn how to hunt. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Looks like we have to cross the river to get to those trees. Look at those water lilies. They are so big. The jeep won't go any further. They are blocking the way. is going after that butterfly. We have to catch up before it gets lost. But how can we move forward? Look, Leo, up by those trees. The cub. We have to save it, but we can't get there. This should work. Let's go. Great idea, Katie. Let's save the cub.
Cloud at Leopard's mother. Great work, everyone. Yay! <laughs> Clouded Leopard Cub in our garden. We learned that the Clouded Leopard is an endangered species and that it spends most of its time in trees. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. <laughs> In time, buddy. Look, it's starting to bloom. It's beautiful. Now I will draw it. Look, Hero, my very first drawing of a night blooming plant the water lily. <coughs> oh, night blooming plants are plants with flowers that open only at night. <coughs> Let's look for more night blooming plants to draw. Hmm, what's that over there? Come on, everybody, let's have a look. That's not a plant, it's a bat. I wonder what kind of bat this is. Do you think it wants to drink our blood? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what kind of bat is it? Hi, Leo. The bat you found is a dawn bat, which is also known as the cave nectar bat. It drinks nectar, not blood. And nectar is the sugary liquid found in plants, right? That's right. But this bat prefers nectar from night-blooming flowers. It also feeds on pollen. That's the powdery stuff on flowers. When these flowers bloom, they have a very strong smell that attracts the bats. But why was that bat behaving so strange earlier? Dawn bats are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night. You must have frightened it with the flash when you took the photo. Oh no! I'll make sure to switch off the flash next time. Where does it come from? Dawn bats live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Should we return it to its home? There aren't enough dark places for it to rest here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the bat would love that. Let's go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Wait, come back. Where are you going, little bat? Which way did it go? It was too fast to see. Katie, take the wheel. I'll search for the bat with my sound detector while you drive. Good idea, Leo. Now let's see. It's this way. Turn here, Katie. Can you see anything? No, but... It smells weird here. Hmm. I find it quite nice. It's coming from there. Lead the way, hero. Ugh. The smell is getting stronger. It's the dawn bat. It must have been hungry. Look, it's feeding from that flower. Hey, is that a night-blooming plant? This flower is part of the durian tree. And you're right, Leo. The flowers blossom only at night. Are you ready to join us, Dawn Bat? Careful, Leo. See those sharp, spiky things up there? Those are durian fruits. When the durians are ripe, 
They fall down, so don't stand too close. Thanks for the warning, Katie. Look! Both the fireflies and the bats feed from the flowers on the trees. Goodbye, little Dawn Bat. We did it! We found the Dawn Bat's home. Great work, everyone. Today, we found a Dawn Bat in our garden. We learned that the Dawn Bat feeds on night-blooming flowers and lives in caves in large groups. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. <laughs> oh, you're out of water. I'll get some more for you. You're finished already? That was fast. Hey, where's this dog food leading to? It's an animal. So you're the one who ate Hero's food. What kind of animal are you anyway? I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still. Hi, Katie. Do you know what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an Asian palm civet. It's also called a toddy cat, but it's not really a cat. An Asian palm civet? So why did it steal Hero's food? Sometimes the Asian palm civet eats pet food that has been left out in the open. But the Asian palm civet usually eats small animals, insects, fruit, and flowers. But now it gets weird. The Asian palm civet also eats coffee beans. And when the civet poops out those coffee beans, some people take the beans and make coffee from them. Wait, what? People make coffee from the civet's poop after it eats coffee beans? And they drink it? Yes, this coffee is called Kopi Luwak. And it's one of the most expensive coffees in the world. Unfortunately, because Kopi Luwak is so popular, some people keep civets in small cages and only feed them coffee beans. Oh no, that's horrible! Absolutely, Leo. Asian palm civets prefer to live outside, in the tropical rainforests in Asia. We should take it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Oh no, come back, Civet. It's going to another plantation. We better go after it. Leaving an Asian palm civet in a plantation is not a good idea. Ugh, this place smells. The smell comes from the durians. They must be ripe. So those fruits are durians? <gasps> that durian almost hit me. Good idea, Hero. My hat and your helmets can protect us, but I don't think we should stay here too long. Hero, can you sniff the civet out? The strong smell from the durians must be covering the civet scent. Hmm, we can use the heat vision on Hero's camera. We can view the image on my tablet. There, on the ground. That's not our civet, it's a wild boar. Ah! <laughs> 
Poor boar. I don't think it deserved that. There you are. You got us worried. Great. We found our Asian palm civet. Let's head back to the jeep. We did it! We found a home for the Asian palm civet. Great work, everyone! We found an Asian palm civet in our garden. We learned that Asian palm civets like to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So we went to the rainforest to find a home for the civet near palm trees. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers.